Well, the ninth in Darba, it's certainly been our biggest ever. Certainly from a numbers point of view, the, the number of people who have come both through to the expo as well as through to the conference, uh, it seems to have got more of a profile as well. I've just noticed a lot more media interest than ever before. Carbon standard and design in Darba was a perfect fit. I mean, if you look at what design in Darba is all about, it is about providing a showcase to the world out there. I think also the theme of carbon neutral is very, very close to Toyota's environmental standpoint, and Toyota is a very environmentally sensitive company. We're certainly very proud as a South African company to be associated with the design in Darba. Design is a very critical component of what we do on television. Thank you very much for joining us. I think there's a lot of support that is being shown, which is about Destination South Africa. We're particularly proud to be sponsoring this design in Darba. It is the most remarkable uh, conference. Well, I think the best thing about Design and Darba is that how it's become a platform for the creative industries in South Africa. And it's really, really brought a halogen spotlight on this entire industry sector. It's really, really helped to inspire and it's really helped to corral the industry together. South Africa is once again in the world spotlight. International and local creative industry gurus have gathered in the mother city Cape Town for the ninth annual Design in Darba, taking place at the convention center. We didn't want to launch at any other expos. Our mantra always at Design Dub has been we'll collaborate today so that we could compete tomorrow. really sharing my sort of little journey of my practice. I really didn't know what to expect, and I thought I was coming to maybe a very normal conference. And what I've experienced is an extraordinary organization who are setting up something which I think is completely unique in the world. I can only say how excited I am to be part of it. The collaborator has to be somebody you trust. So it really turns out that the person I work with pretty much on 90% of my projects is actually myself. <laughs> As Crystal pointed out, most of the work we do is separate, um, but I'm always trying to outsource and work with others and get people's response. But it also, it helps, again, stimulate the creative process. It has been very interesting, even though I gotta say, of course, it's for me, the most amazing thing is, of course, the personal, like meeting people, from here and like seeing the, 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 the city and just like it's like topographically and, 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 and like from the light it's just like a much different place and the people it's just a different mindset. It's only my second conference in 20 years, normally I shut away from it so yeah. Robbie did a good job of convincing me. The simplest, smallest of objects or the most complicated, the most complex machines man can make. I think the, the uniqueness about the design in Darba is that it's, it's ahead of the world curve in a way. People these days are understanding that great ideas don't live in prepackaged places. And what this in Darba does by bringing different disciplines together is we feed off each other. So as individuals will get better, but in the end the cumulative effect is going to be massive. This is a fabulous group of speakers and, and a very sort of energized design community as a whole. Oh, I've always been much in favor of working with your roots. Every speaker of value, and most of them are, um, prove us that uh, wherever you come from, you need to embody what, you know, what that space is. Collaboration in any 
Any sort of context is beautiful. Ferrari, Maserati, Lamborghini, uh, Bugatti. That list doesn't need a translation. I think Ferrari speaks by itself. Non hanno bisogno di tradurre, non è unica tradurre Ferrari. No, infatti. It makes complete sense that there's 2,000 people here in South Africa listening to design. Do you ever sit and think, wow, I've had an incredible life and I'm, yeah, I'm pretty cool? <laughs> I'm always thinking uh, forward. South Africa needs to have a brand identity. It's about time. There was a lot more of this. We need more of this. I think we need a bigger space. Maybe we can have more young designers coming in. Something as special in terms of a public place as our constitution was as a constitution. This, this, it also offers a lot of choices actually to see all these different people and get the chance to see what they mean and what they're interested in, what they're good at, what their handwriting is. We got a very good sense of design in Daba and I think it's a very successful design conference and we feel very fortunate to be here to have participated. Mark, have you had opportunity to see some of the work on display and uh, what kind of response has it evoked in you? Uh, it's really fantastic. I was just uh, shocked again by the different materials that are used here. What you need to understand is this is one of the best conferences I've been to and I travel a lot. The overall feeling that comes through with South African design is ingenuity. We're lack in, say, sophisticated production mechanisms we make up for in sheer talent and originality. I'm absolutely amazed by the stands that the Expo exhibitors have put together this year. And all I can say is that I'm grateful and thank you. You've made a beautiful show. Given the, the amount of media and images and magazines and internet that people are bombarded with constantly, the hardest thing that anybody can do is to keep a point of view, a unique point of view. And that's what gives um, a designer an edge or a design company or a, a, a manufacturing company an edge, is a, a specific point of view. Hello, my name is Katsutoshi Ishibashi. I'm editor-in-chief of Design Magazine Axis. This year, our magazine Axis became the media partner of Design Data. Designers and the styling, it's gorgeous. We've had a very successful morning in that the international buyers have all visited our stand and expressed great interest. There is a lot of things to show the you know, unique and stylish South African designs. I enjoy it. To see them. First of all, I don't go to any fashion shows overseas, so it was really quite nice to actually see uh, three fashion shows I saw, uh, and I was I was really quite impressed. I was really quite impressed with the sense of talent. Um, I was impressed with what I saw on the exhibitions. Design and Daba has grown into the best design event in the world. Uh, we get uh, a wonderful city in Cape Town. It's incredibly important for us to continue to showcase South Africa. We have a huge suite of uh, great international speakers that, that come here. I think there's a lot of energy here, and uh, just walking around the expo, there's a real vibrance of innovation, and there's a real energy. Everybody here wants to be innovative. They want to be avant-garde. But yet, what I've noticed, there's a real respect of tradition and elements that reflect this country basically not forgetting the beauty of the country that they're working for and within charity piece which we volunteer for because it goes to a good cause to sponsor design students to further their education. 
I'm working here tonight. I'm emceeing. I've never been to um, the designing Dava before, so I'm very excited about it. I know that there are um, very many international designers here, so it's basically a jaw because people are, are attending various workshops during the day talking about designs of all sorts. This week of the design in Dava becomes one of those great exchanges where we benchmark ourselves against the best in the world. And in this case, it really felt like design was driving the conference. And um, again, you know, also the international quality of it. I didn't really feel like there were too many Americans or too many French or too many South Africans or too many Japanese designers. It really felt very international, it felt world. I really appreciate all the lectures. It brings me a lot of energy and uh, yeah, reflection to go on, and uh, yeah, I need to uh, have a kind of interaction like that, and, uh, and it helps to then go after in your studio and uh, following your own stuff. I'm having the best time probably in my life, and uh, this really was an eye-opening and a life-changing experience. I've never experienced so much love and waves of uh, positive energy, and it's been absolutely overwhelming, really incredible. It, is, it really is one of the most amazing, amazing events in the whole design calendar. The bar has been raised significantly this year, all of which makes it even more stressful for next year because you have to uh, top what you've just done in design in Dublin 9, but then, you know, we got really girding our loins and planning for a massive design in Darbo 10, which is going to happen in 2007. So uh, watch this space.